All six of the victims in the Wings Over Dallas air show collision have been identified. Mentioned that earlier in the newscast. Three of them from North Texas. It's Terry Barker, a former Keller City Councilman, pretty well known in air show circles, former American Airlines pilot. Len Root as well, Fort Worth, uh, also a former American pilot. Dan Reagan is from Dallas. They were all, as we know, lost, of course, during that awful mid air collision during the show that highlighted military aircraft from the World War II era. This afternoon, the NTSB did say that they have cleared out some of the wreckage. They'll Put it in a big hangar somewhere and try and rebuild. They also have a couple of electronic flight displays, one from the B-17. They say they got a GPS unit from the P-30, uh, P-63 fighter. They hope to maybe get some helpful data from those instruments. And what happened at the air show, it was horrible. It was heartbreaking. But it brings us to a man who literally travels the world trying to help grieving communities, and he does it through his art. But this weekend, tragedy hit so close to home for Roberto Marquez with this air show crash. Yeah, as CBS 11's Brooke Rogers is now showing us, he responded as he always does. He went to work. Most people veer away from tragedy, but Roberto Marquez runs toward it, paintbrush in hand. Right away, I made the decision that I, I wanted to come and uh, work on the memorial. He erected his latest installment on the fence line of Dallas Executive Airport, where six airmen died Saturday while performing at the Wings Over Dallas World War II air show. Marquez actually lives in Oak Cliff and was in the area the afternoon of the air show crash. He says he went home, gathered some lumber and a mural he'd been working on, and knew he'd spend the rest of the weekend creating this memorial. This morning I finished with the other two names. Six crosses, each with a flag and flowers, now serve as a community memorial for the victims. It's always the opportunity to come and, and do something, and uh, I think uh, it, it helps. It really helps. Marquez has traveled and painted everywhere from Uvalde to Ukraine in the past five years he's been a full-time artist. He said he felt it would be a disgrace not to create a memorial in his own backyard. I think it's a responsibility, not only as an artist, but as a human being, that I feel people feel good. It also makes me feel good doing it. He doesn't know how many memorials he's created or how long this one will remain. He'll be on to another one but he hopes he's leaving something tangible and meaningful behind. And I've been, been thanked for many people that come and said, we like what you're doing, and uh, that gives me a strength to keep on doing it over and over. In Dallas, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.